Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Aries and happy Saturday to you, 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 you and you gods and goddesses. We're going to get right into your reading Aries. A lot of wonderful things are coming your way. As I'm shuffling the cards here, the message that's coming through for you all is beauty to ashes. Beauty for ashes, excuse me. Beauty for ashes. Oh my God, look at these cards that popped out. Look at the devil card popped out. Look at this. Listen, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your e reading. Beauty for ashes. That's what's coming through. A lot of your relationships have been burned to a crisp, whether you initiated it because you're an initiator or people have, um, yeah, because you're, whether you're initiated or not, whether you feel like you're initiated or not, more cards popping out the deck, but there, but the other side of your journey is going to be beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Aries as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Aries needs to take action. I am talking to my strong leaders who are also have amazing self-confidence, positive energy, brave, creative, honest, passionate, optimistic, enthusiastic, confident, determined, courageous rams. Talking to you gods and goddesses, I am talking to you. We have two planets that are about to go station direct on the 18th. Jupiter and Mercury are going to station direct on the 18th at different times, right? They're not going station direct at the same time, at different times within hours of each other. I need you all to get ready for expansion. This weekend in particular, there may be some breakdown in communication because again, we're also moving towards the full moon, right? This card popped out first. The devil card popped out first. I don't need y'all to operate in fear. Don't operate in doubt. Don't operate in anything that is keeping you away from what I'm seeing in the cards. Here we have the two of cups. By the way, we're going to talk about the number 24. We have the four of cups. We also have the six of cups. There's a lot of emotion here, but there's also a lot of money. <laughs> okay, we have the nine of pentacles. We also have the four of pentacles. We also have the eight of wands. I got a quick progression of things that's happening. So I need y'all to be emotionally balanced out, right? Like I said, Mercury and uh, Mercury is still retrograde, just like Jupiter is still retrograde. So on one hand, you feel like something big is about to happen. Keep that same energy of knowing that something great, something major expansion is about to happen, right? But you get mixed messages. Those mixed messages could come in the form of delayed emails, something you've been waiting for. It can come in mixed messages from your family. You could be, you could mix messages to your dreams or whatever. That's keeping some people in fear and doubt, right? Okay, that Mercury Jupiter, right? Remember, Mercury is the, the communication planet, so that affects communication in all forms, verbal, nonverbal, everything in between. It also affects travel. It also affects technology, right? So you could be receiving mixed messages. Your intuition could be giving you mixed messages, but guess what? Go right back in and you speak what you want into existence. For example, oh, this thing I've been waiting on is not coming through because I, I haven't heard back from this person or whatever, to it's coming. Mercury is still retrograde. It's coming. It's about to be stationed direct. So I'm expecting something great to hear something great. So that means also Aries, if somebody's waiting on you to receive something and you're getting mixed messages, send that person a text message, email or whatever. I haven't forgotten about you because remember it affects everybody. I haven't forgotten about you. I'll get back to you in a couple of days. You see what I'm saying? If you're expecting something, an email or something from somebody and you feel like there's mixed messages coming through, you be the initiator and send the messages like, hey, I'm just checking up. I'm just following up. I'm just checking the status of X, Y, and Z, right? Got it? Good. All right, because some major things are coming your way and they're coming fast, fast, quick, 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 coming real fast. Financial independence, and I also see you traveling, right? You could be traveling even via the internet. Remember, Mercury is attached to communication and technology, travel, and in all forms, verbal, nonverbal. So that means your, your um, website, your, um, your YouTube channel could end up taking off. And again, creating financial independence for you. You got a book or product or whatever you've been putting online. Again, World Wide Web. You're traveling places that you never even thought that you would be traveling. It could be physically on a train or plane or whatever, some mode of some mode of transportation. Or it could also it could start via the internet where people are inviting you to speak places. People are inviting your energy there. They're saying, listen, Aries, we want you to be here, 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 and here. 
wherever you are, it's not in your same country. It's not on your same continent. Okay. This is how global things are happening for you. Financial independence, get ready. Don't let mercury trip you up and cause you to start doubting things are not happening for you. Right. I'm also seeing some of you are waiting on your person that's coming too. look, look at these hands, um, um, together, right? First of all, these are both of your hands, right? The light in you, the dark in you, the seen, unseen, known, unknown, right? This is all you balancing out your own energy, being your own soulmate. But because you are no longer going to succumb to fear and doubt, your person is coming. Your person is coming. Your person is coming. That's if that's what you want. Not everybody wants to be in a romantic relationship. In that case, hey, be earning your coins by yourself. And just actively date if that's what you want to do. That's up to you. It's entirely up to you. But for the people who want to be in a relationship, because you are like, see, some of y'all been ruminating over this for too long. Like ruminating, okay, when am I going to get a message back? Am I going to ever meet my person? Like there are, some of y'all are looking at the watch. I don't, you see, I don't even, I don't even wear a watch. Some of y'all are looking at the clock on the wall, you know, the door cat with the tail swinging or whatever, the eyes moving side to side. Y'all looking at the clock on the wall waiting. Okay. My, my clock is ticking. I'm too old. I need to be married to somebody. I need to have some kids. I need to do, listen, time is fluid, right? With the amount of money that I'm sending your car, some of the reason why some of y'all haven't found y'all person is because they would take advantage of your giving heart for real. Those people that y'all been dealing with in the past, they would take advantage of your giving heart. They would take stone cold advantage of you Aries. So be in be in in just knowing mode, right? Like, listen, I'm a, I'm gonna be my own best friend until the right person comes along, right? I'm gonna still actively date. That's if you're if something you're interested in. I'm gonna still actively open myself up to meeting new people, but I'm gonna start listening to my intuition. Listen, no more dating down, Aries. Okay, I'm gonna say this this for some. I don't know who this is for. Stop dating down. Y'all are too busy creating the life that you want. You got to remember something about Aries across the board. Your life purpose, Aries, is to pioneer and lead the way, breaking new ground for other people to follow. You all are a courageous sign. You're a conquering sign. You know what I'm saying? You are, you know, search for challenges so that you can prove yourselves. Why in the world would you date somebody who is not as ambitious as you are? Why? Just why? Why do people do that? Why why do people be, date people who are just as not as ambitious? I mean, unless you're looking for a charity case. I mean, I'm not sure what the problem is. But again, if the person is not as busy as you are, and I'm talking about productive, getting stuff done. You've been talking about I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a entrepreneur, right? See, all that's stopping, all of that stopping. See, the universe has been God in the universe has been looking out for a lot of people because that person you thought was your person. That person who you thought rejected you, that was God's protection. Because God already knew where you was going, but they already knew where they, they were going too. They were going down and you were going up. <laughs> Y'all, <was, laughs> Listen, your elevator was going up and theirs was going down. Two totally different floors. Matter of fact, some of them still, they, they still stuck between floors and you just keep going up, 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 up and up. You've been protected this entire time and didn't even realize it. And you're overthinking it. You're a giver. So you're not going to give any more time and attention to doubt or fear, Aries. You see what I'm saying? Good. Okay. I'm glad we all on the same sheet of music here because listen, I, I need to have some conversations with some people for real. Like stop. Please stop dating down for real. Stop. Just stop let stop giving people the title of friendship. This is what's happening, right? When I say expansion for you all, and this is how these planets being retrograde are tied into this, expansion in every area of your life. Your friendship circle is about to change. So what does that mean? You may lose some old friends. You may even lose some family members that you consider as friends. And I got to say this for the people in the back. Listen, family is not does not equate to friend. That cousin that y'all y'all parents may have been best friends does not mean today that they're your best friend, okay? That they're your that they're even your friend, right? Okay, that's all I need to say. All right. So listen, I see things moving fast. Quick, quick, quick for you. Quick. Remember, we're moving towards a full moon. We also have on the 18th, we have the um, we have both of those planets going retrograde. So that's why so many people are confused and doubting themselves because they're like, okay, I feel like something big is about to happen, but I just haven't gotten the news back yet. 
That's how it's set up. But in the meantime, things around you are constantly being exposed. Full moon. Things are being exposed, right? So that means if people start exposing themselves at the last minute, good, bad, or indifferent, put them in a category. You got too much money in your cards. Way too much money in your cards, right? Way too much money in your cards, right? You all are too brave. You all are the first sign of the zodiac. You're out here changing. You're, you're showing people how it's done, Aries. That's why I need y'all to stay focused. Like, really stay focused. You're the first sign in the zodiac. Let's talk about the number 24 for a second. So we got four plans as, as of today, right now, at this very moment. So don't, don't y'all put no messages on my <laughs> channel under this video talking about after y'all watched the, the video on Tuesday, talking about, mm-mm. It's right now we have two chan two planets that are retrograde. Today, Saturday, four planets are currently retrograde, right? So we're going to talk about the number 24 because two of those planets are going to station direct and two of those planets are going to remain retrograde. So listen, here we have 24. 24 means that with your magnetic presence and power of suggestion, you make an impact, a big impact on other people. It also means that once you realize how you can serve others with passion and joy, that's right up your alley, passion, right? And joy, high vibration Aries. You can easily attract abundance and nurturing your relationships. I've been saying this the entire time, Aries. You all are money magnets, money magnets, money magnets. But the reason why some of you all have not seen the amount of money that I'm seeing here in the cards is because you keep giving energy and time to things that don't serve your highest purpose. If you're sitting up on the phone with somebody until midnight at night listening to the same tears and crying about the same stories that they keep on telling you after you gave them advice a thousand times before and they're not taking your advice guess what is keeping you from writing your business plan coming up with fresh and new ideas for you to make more money it's keeping you from writing another chapter in your book it's keeping you from putting uploading your videos y'all see what i'm saying you're givers no more overgiving. Overgiving time is over it's over. Number 24 also means that you're a warm, loving companion and you adore your home, your children, and nature. It also means that you take responsibility for your life and goals. And this drives and, and this drive and love of life makes you a lively partner. When I tell you some of you all, if you're in a current relationship and your relationship is healthy, get ready for your relationship to be better. Your marriage, your partnership is going to be more loving because why? You remove some of those those um, low vibration energies from your life. You're not even going to overthink this anymore. So like I said, if some communication has been on pause, it's because of Mercury. Just, just start speaking the positive into existence, okay? Good. Let's go. Let's finish this up. Breakthrough. See, that's what I'm talking about. I see breakthrough for you. Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Breakthrough. Some of y'all are still connected to this kind of energy. Who is it? Is it your family members? Like, who is it? Who is it that has just, who has internal conflict, unresolved internal conflict? Who is it? Whoever it is, they will end up burning you, Aries. I hope y'all are paying attention. So many people are looking at the physical form, like how a person physically looks like, okay, this is my cousin, this is my this is my best friend, this is my this and th that's the physical form. We're talking about the spirit. If y'all have people around y'all, because I'm telling you, God is trying to change the circle of people around you. People are not going to be coming to you with their hands shaped like cups coming out asking you for <laughs> asking you for money. The circle you're about to be in, everybody in that circle is winning. They got their own money, so they're not looking at you for a loan. These people would. These people right here will end up burning you. These are the people who will ask you for some money. And because you're a giver and you gave them money, they'll be mad at you when it's time to pay you back. The logic, I mean, for real. These people will end up burning you. These people will have a problem with you ascending higher and winning because they see your win is a loss for them. Like, that's stupid because if I'm winning, I'm trying to take you with me, right? So this is what I'm saying. These people right here, you y'all know exactly who they are. They are operating in fear. They can't see it for themselves, so they don't want to see it for you. Get rid of them. Beauty for ashes. Didn't I say that in the beginning? Some of these relationships will be in ashes and guess what you can be repaid with? Beauty. Y'all know that term. You have, you've heard of the term beauty for ashes, right? In the past, you know exactly what that means, right? That just means like a sense of a comeback 
a phoenix rising from destruction, finding something good in the midst of so much evil. All the all the ashes. These people right here, they take care of themselves. See this red hand? They're they gonna end up burning themselves and falling out of right. This right here, ashes, ashes, ashes. These they, they need to go. They need to go so that they can be so that you can see the beauty, I mean, all around you, of your new friendships, of your new circle. Some I'm telling you, some of y'all are gonna some of y'all have had a glimpse of being in the presence of very, very wealthy people, but very happy, wealthy people. They're not standing around engaging in frivolous conversations about nothing. They're not talking about, well, this person did this to me and that person did this. They didn't moved on. That's what, that is what you're doing. That's what's happening with you right now. Some of those people that y'all want to go back and bring along with you will burn you. I can't, there's no other way I can say this. And I have to reiterate it because people learn by repetition. So if you think I'm repeating this over and over and over again, it's for you. <laughs> if you say, well, why did you just say that? All right, guess what? Because it's for you. It's for you because some people need to hear it over and over and over again for them to actually get it, for it to sink in. Right here we have the full card, right? Folding up right. And remember y'all, I read cards both ways. I'm showing these to you in upright, but I'm reading them both ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. This right here is attached to the planet Uranus, right? Which is Aquarius's ruling planet. So some of you all may have Aquarius in your chart, but get ready to win. You got to get the fear and doubt and the, you got to get the, any addiction to a certain lifestyle. Some people are addicted, believe it or not. Some people are addicted to being around certain types of energy that will burn you. That will burn you. That will take you right out, out, out of everything you've been saying you wanted for yourself. Instead, I need you to expect great things to happen. Because it's right here. Right here in the cards. It's telling you. It's right here in the cards. Expect great things to happen for you. Get from around some of those people. Some of those people need to be demoted to acquaintance. Some of them don't need to have any place in your life. You've experienced it. Okay. Cycle over. Time to move on. Okay. Listen, I need you to expect greater. Here we have this person. Their foot is grounded. And this one right here is up. Expectations. I know y'all feel something big is about to happen, Aries. I know you do. Look, you also all attract money. Queen of Pentacles. It's the fact that you're so down to earth and so relatable, right? And and your energy is healing energy, like a person who is grounding. When they when they leave your presence, Aries, they almost feel like, wow, I feel like you know what? I feel like I'm recharged. That's how they feel when they come around you. They feel recharged. They feel like, okay, I was about to give up. I came around Aries and man, I feel recharged. I don't know why I feel like I do. Why? Because you're the first sign in the Zodiac. You're a fire sign and you are, um, you are, your life purpose is to pioneer and lead the way. That's why, because you break new ground and they're looking at you as inspiration. That is why, right? And on top of that, you're not afraid of challenges. You're like, I, I'm a I'm prove myself. I'm proving myself and I'm proving everybody else around me, whoever doubted me, that I'm a winner. I can, I got this, right? That's how you're recharging people around you. And that's where your money is. Some of y'all are motivational speakers and don't even realize it because somebody told y'all to stop. <laughs> somebody told you to talk too much. <laughs> Aries, y'all better keep on talking. <laughs> Y'all better keep motivating people. Y'all about to motivate somebody into a record deal. And I'm not talking about record as in music industry, because that if that's your thing, hey, go for it. But I'm talking about you're going to motivate somebody who is on the brink of becoming very, very wealthy. And guess who they're going to look at when they, you. Here we have um, the emperor. Somebody may be getting ready to get a record deal too, right? Yeah, somebody's a musician. They're about to get a record deal. Nothing that I say even is by coincidence. This is your card right here, Emperor. A lot of you all are, whether you are, when I say father figure, I mean, you can be a woman that's the head of a household, or you can be a father that's the head of a household. But what I'm saying is that people look up to you. They're like, okay, this person is a pioneer. They're the first ones to do this, this, and that. Every time I go around them, I feel, I feel energized. Like, you know, um, 
I feel this adrenaline because that's what's that's what's attached. That's how you feel it. You feel it in your adrenal glands in your head. It's like you got all this creative energy going on. Your adrenaline is high, and that's when people leave your presence, Aries. That's how they feel. That's where your money is right there. I'm telling you, some somebody's a motivational speaker and don't even realize it. that's another stream of income for you all. It's just a way that you get people motivated, Aries. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Good. I'm glad. I hope you got your. You, I hope you thinking. I hope you listening. Look. Also, we have breakthrough. This is what I'm seeing for you, a breakthrough. This is nice. When I tell you that you're getting your fire back, that is no joke, Aries. I am so excited for you all. Let's pull an Oracle card and see what's going on. But I see travel. I'm talking about that travel may start online. I could see somebody on their computer, like looking up, okay, where, where am I going to travel to next? Where I, the next thing you know, your, your ticket in your hand reads exactly what you've been looking at online. Mm. Whew. Financial independence. Financial independence. See, the way that you, okay, ooh. See, okay, Aries, the way that you all were, you know, giving money to people in the past, it was like giving your energy and your time, staying on the phone, extra hours for people in the whole nine yards, it's going to be very different this time. So now when people come to you asking you for money or your energy and time or whatever, specifically with money, right? Because I see a lot of money in your cards <clears throat> and a lot of fire in your cards. They're going to be coming to you asking you for um, asking you for money. But instead, like before you would have said, well, let me let me reach down into my wallet or let me reach down to my purse and get him my last dollar. You're not going to do that anymore. You're going to say with just very boldness, you're going to say, hey, listen. Um, let's meet up. I'm going to teach you how to learn how to budget your money. I'm going to teach you how to have a healthy relationship with money so that you don't have to come to me with your hands looking like a cup. <laughs> Begging me for money. Some of y'all going to tell y'all kids this. Some of y'all going to tell y'all parents this. Some of y'all going to tell family members, your friends, whomever. It's like clashes in session. I'm breaking out spreadsheets. I'm going to teach you how to budget your money. I'm going to teach you how to live below your means. I'm going to teach you how to, you know, budget so that you can take regular vacations, so that you can live the life that you want. I'm, this like class is in session. Like I said, y'all the first sign for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all going to be teaching a lot of people a lot of ways of how to get their life in order. Because why? You learn how to get yours in order. Flow like water. That's what that's, money's going to be flowing like water. Emotions be flowing like water. Power flowing like water. That's why you got to get this out of the picture. The devil energy. Devil is our carnal mind. It operates in flesh. You are a divine spirit having a human experience. You are a God Aries. A God is a creator. It does not mean that you are somebody else's God, but you're surely not making them yours. Okay. Things are flowing like water. When I say creativity is flowing like water, flowing like, I'm telling you, somebody going to come to y'all asking y'all, can I borrow some money? And all of a sudden creative juices are flowing, flowing like water. No, I'm not going to loan you any money. And you're not even going to say, well, I can't, you're going to say, no, I'm not going to loan you any money, but I can teach you how to budget. I can teach you how to budget your money. No, I'm not going to give you any more money. I already gave you money in the past. What you do with that? You spent it? Okay. So I can teach you how to budget your money, right? I, I'm, I'm about to get on a flight. <laughs> I'm about to catch a plane. I'm about to go on travel. I don't have time. No. Well, can you just cash app it? No, but I can teach you how to budget. You got some time? I can call you while I'm sitting outside with my sun hat on on some sugary white beaches and I can I can walk through. I'm, I'm giving you my time now. This is more valuable than the money that you're asking for. I'm giving you my time. I'm teaching you. I'm not just giving it to you. I'm teaching you. This is lifetime. This is a valuable lesson. Do you want it or not? If they say no, okay, your conversation ends here. I got a flight to catch. I spent too much time on the phone with you already. That's what I'm seeing for some of you all. That is what I have for you, Aries. I see a lot of things flowing for you like water. So you got to get this energy out of the way. Okay? That's what I have for you, Aries. Bye.